we will demonstrate to you SAM Facet, a system for faceted search. Faceted search is a technique for accessing document collections that combines text search and faceted navigation applied to the document's metadata. The search typically starts when the user enters keywords and the system extracts the initial set of documents matching them. Then the user can narrow down the set by incrementally applying multiple filters called facets. During the last decade, faceted search attracted a lot of attention in academia. Moreover, it has grown as a mainstream commercial technology and it is now ubiquitous in media and e-commerce, including traveling, retail and rentals. Same facet is a faceted search system powered with the semantic web technologies. Semfacet provides faceted search or RDF and OWL2 data. In our demo, we set Semfacet over a fragment of Yaguan DBpedia. Semfacet relies on Lucene for keyword based search over DBpedia abstracts. It automatically generates faceted query interfaces, converts faceted queries into Sparkle, executes Sparkle queries using RDFox, and returns to the user answers in the form of snippets. We illustrate some facet with the following query example. Find in the Yago knowledge base, children of American presidents who studied in Harvard or Stanford. This is the main screen of our system. We start searching with keywords, say politicians. Some facet finds documents that are somewhat relevant to the keywords and returns the initial collection of documents. You can see them on the right hand side of the screen. These answers will be filtered further. On the left-hand side, you can see facets that have been automatically generated for the initial set of documents. Note that for another keywords and another set of doc initial documents, some facet will generate different facets. Some of the facets you can see on the screen can be applied to people. For example, created from allows to find politicians from a particular university. As the facets, for example, as happened in, can be applied to events about politicians. Since we are not interested in events, but in presidents, we specify this explicitly. By default, the system shows at most five values in each facet, but we can expand the list of values by clicking on more. We choose the value president in the facet RDF type. Now we can shrink the list of values and our choice of president is here now. This choice deletes all answers which are not about presidents and all facets that are not relevant to presidents. For example, the facet happened in disappeared since it cannot be applied to people. However, we still have facets which we don't need so we can remove them using the button remove. Now we can specify the citizenship of presidents. Note that we have a navigation map here that shows the faceted query we have constructed so far. Let's move to the president's children now. We click the value any in the has child facet since we're not looking for a specific child. Now observe that a new facet is graduated from appears. It allows us to put restrictions on children of presidents, but not on the presidents them themselves. So we choose Harvard and Stanford. Now we have a list of US presidents whose children studied in Harvard or Stanford. However, we would like to see their children instead. Our system allows to switch between different collections of documents. So when we click on focus in the chess child facet, some facet refocuses from presidents to their children and we see the documents we were looking for. We can also focus on the USA to be sure that this is exactly the country we had in mind and on the universities to be sure that these are the two we need. Let's take another look at the navigation map. It shows the current query in we have constructed the facet has child is red, which means that we focused on the set of children. Let us see what happened behind the same facet curtains while we demonstrated the system. 
We started with a keyword based search and entered politicians. The system returned a set of initial documents and they were displayed on the screen. Next, we took a set of strings such as president, pilot, and so on for further filtering. We used a facet RDF type to select documents labeled with the string president and the documents which were not labeled with president disappeared. Next, we took a set of documents about countries such as the USA and UK for further filtering. We used the facet citizen of to relate the documents about American presidents and the documents about countries. We set the country to the USA and the documents which were not about American presidents disappeared. Then we took a set of documents about children and related them to the set of American presidents via a facet has child. As a result, all presidents without children disappeared. Finally, we took a set of documents about universities and related them to the set of children of American presidents via a facet graduated from. We set the universities to Stanford or Harvard and children who didn't go to any of these universities disappeared. Moreover, presidents who were parents of the disappeared children were also discarded. Finally, we set the focus of some facet on the remaining children and got them in the output. Note that faceted navigation in some facet corresponds to construction of complex queries over multiple sets of documents. More precisely, via the navigation, users construct conjunctive queries with joins and one output variable. Moreover, users have control on what variable goes in the output. The query you see on the screen corresponds to the navigation in our example. This is beyond what traditional faceted search offers to end users. We saw how users can construct complex conjunctive queries by making choices in the same facet query interface. Next, we will explain how this query interface is automatically generated from the input ontology. For the explanation, we will use a workflow diagram describing interface generation that consists of processes denoted with diamonds and components denoted with boxes. The input of the whole process is an ontology compound of RDF data triples and OWL2 axioms. In our installation example, the input is a fragment of DBpedia and Yago, but it could be any RDF or OWL2 ontology. For example, Freebase or Uniprod. The input could also be a set of semantically annotated documents where annotations are coming from ontotext, semantrics, schema.org, and so on. The next step of the process is to generate facets, for example, RDF type or graduated from facets. Computation of facets is done via reasoning over RDF data and OWL2 ontologies. This process returns facets that are useful for query composition. We call them admissible facets. Next, we project the ontology on relationships between objects and classes. This is again done via logical reasoning. The result of this process is what we called a navigation graph that looks like this. The graph encodes what facets can occur together on the screen as well as what facets can follow one another in a nested fashion. So admissible facets and the navigation graph is what we automatically extract from the ontology. The next process in faceted interface generation is keyword-based search that returns a set of initial documents. In our example, they are relevant to politicians. Now, we have all the components needed to generate a faceted query interface. That is, we have the set of initial documents, admissible facets, and navigation graph. From them, we can generate the interface that looks like this. Note that this interface is what the users see before they do any ticking in facets. Then, during the faceted navigation, when the user performed several selections in facets, the system keeps track of the set of interconnected documents that correspond to the current state of the user's query session. As soon as the user ticks a value in an available facet, some facet reacts. It takes 
always the same set of admissible facets and the navigation graph, and it generates a new faceted query interface that reflects the selection of the user. Moreover, same facet updates the set of interconnected documents that correspond to the current state of the user's query session. To conclude, SEMFACET allows for automatic generation of faceted search interfaces over RDF and AO2 data. It allows to combine several collections of documents. It gives control on which document set should go in the output via the refocusing mechanism. SEMFACET relies on state-of-the-art semantic web technology for keyword-based search, querying RDF data, and reasoning of RDF and AOL2 ontologies.